What's up, Insta? Giving you an exclusive interview this morning. I am live at an undisclosed location. Race Flaves always giving you the exclusive. Um, this week has been a crazy week. Um, everything closing, all kinds of uh, school shutdowns. My son's school shutdown, Caleb's school shutdown, uh, my older boy's uh, Saxy Boys School shut down, uh, my daughter's school shut down. All the kids are going to be home for the next three weeks with this coronavirus. Um, this week we had the Grand Princess Cruise Line dock into Oakland with 3,533 people on board, including 21 who tested positive for coronavirus. Um, this stuff is spreading around like crazy, so be safe. Um, the reason why I want to talk about the Grand Princess um, is because I really think that, um, well, it's just crazy the the amount of people that are getting sick on cruises these days. Uh, but this morning I had a pretty interesting talk with one of my friends who is a chef on a ship called the Francesca. And it is a ship that has been traveling from... Um, all, it starts in Europe and it goes all around the world. It goes to Brazil, it goes to Mexico, it goes to different places, um, and it eventually ends up back in Europe. This ship is on its way back into Italy. And so when I was talking to him about the, the ship that docked here in Oakland, the Grand Princess, and I was talking to him about the other ship, the original ship that was from uh, I think it was in Japan um, that started out in Yokohama, Japan, and it was going to be a two-week trip, and most of the people on board um, got stuck and ended up being in quarantine on the ocean, on the sea, for over a month. And that was because 705 passengers and crew got sick on that ship uh, before it finally docked. Um, so it's crazy being on cruises today. So I was a little afraid for my friend and we talked a little about about how he felt being a chef on the uh, Fasanosa is the name of the ship. I got the name wrong. Fasanosa is the name of the ship. And I asked him how he felt about being on that ship and he wasn't afraid at all. He said that the crew and the safety of the passengers was always number one and that the hygiene was really uh, always always a important on the ship anyways but that they were taking extra steps uh, to, to ensure that the passengers were safe and he said that no no passengers on the on the ship at that at this time had the coronavirus so I was really scared for him uh, especially being that he had traveled through Brazil we heard about the uh, president of Brazil having the coronavirus of course it doesn't mean everybody in Brazil has that but just that the ship was going from November and cruising all the way through December and January uh, and now we're in March and it's on its way to Italy which is crazy because Italy is blowing up with coronavirus and it's almost out of control there so um, really interesting exclusive this morning with my friend uh, he is a chef on the on the ship Fasanosa on its way to Italy. I will keep you guys updated as I follow my friend. He is a chef on board and he will give me um, updates and and uh, hopefully everybody on that ship is safe. I'm sure they are, but like I said, they're making sure that the ships are cleaner now. They're really doing a great job. Even the president of Princess Cruises went online, uh, was on an interview this week and stated how much they are doing to intervene with this coronavirus. Everybody's doing the best that they can, the best that they know how. So I just uh, encourage you guys to help each other out out there. If you be patient, especially with the schools closing, it's going to be rough. The schedules are going to be crazy. Um, trying to figure out who's going to watch your kids while you're at work. That's going to be nuts. Um, but uh, just everybody work together out there and be safe. See you soon.